Maybe you've seen some viral videos that show people aging from day to day throughout a year or from year to year for several years. And you've wondered, wow, how do I do something like that? I'm going to show you one way to do it with Picasa. Now, I already have my Picasa opened up on my computer. And you will see in the left menu, I have my folders, people, and my albums. And right now, I have a, a people folder of my daughter, Sarah. And I have already set it up so that Picasso, through facial recognition, put these pictures in the photo or in the people album for me. So I did not need to go search through over a thousand pictures to find pictures of Sarah's face. And so now that I have this, I am going to go through and select the pictures that I want. And so I click the pictures I want and I pin them in place. Now I can select several at once by clicking and going as far as I want and pin, or I can select them individually. And while I do that, I'm going to hit pause just so that you don't have to sit through the entire process for this. Okay, I'm back. And now you can see in the selection tray that I have pinned a number of pictures into it. And the next step is to create an album. So I add selected photos to an album. I'm going to do a new album. I'm going to title it simply Sarah and OK. Now at this point, what I am going to do is click Create Movie from Selection. And what this does is it takes only the facial portion of each picture and it selects. Had I made a different selection, it would overlap the entire picture, but this does only the picture now, or only the face of the picture. And it will resize all the faces so that they match, which is really wonderful. Now, I can, we have some tools here. We can change the transition style, the slide duration, and so forth. But we're not going to mess with that right now. We're just showing you the basics. Template, you can change the title and the of the movie. And I'm just going to call it Sarah, January 8th. And then I could add another text slide if I want. Or if I go through here, I can change the order of the pictures. Or if I decide I don't want something after all, I could take it out as well at this point. So again, I'm going to pause for a moment while I arrange the pictures in the order that I want them. Okay, now that I have selected all of the photos that I want and I have them in order that I want, I am ready to create the movie. And all you do is click Create the Movie, give it time to work, and I'll be right back after it has finished its processing. Okay, now my video is actually showing already because after it finished processing, it automatically started playing. But as you can see, here we have only the facial um, aspect or portion of each picture overlapping, all resized about the same. And so then you can upload to YouTube, you can do whatever. I am going to pause and I want to show you why we went through the steps that we did. If we were to just go to the album here and create a movie presentation, it would show the entire picture. So notice the difference there. And that is why we did what we did. And had I gone to the people portion and selected make a facial movie, it only selects a few of the pictures. So the way that we did it, it had the pictures that I wanted, all the pictures I wanted, and I can find it here in my movie folder of Picasso. And there we are.